All right, Jeffy, it's time to eat lunch. Oh boy, that means I get to eat cookies. No, 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 Jeffy, you're not eating cookies for lunch. You're gonna eat a big old plate of green beans. But Daddy, you know I hate green beans. Why can't you get it through your thick, bald head that I don't like green beans? Well, Jeffy, I know you don't like green beans, but they're healthy and they'll make you grow big and strong. Well, cookies will make me big too. Well, they'll make you big like fat. Well, then I'll be just like you. Jeffy! Jeffy, I am not fat. Look, look, green beans have fiber and then they'll help you poop. Daddy, I already crap my pants twice a day. I don't need help pooping. That's well, because of the green beans, Jeffy. Yes, Jeffy, green beans are good for you. So look, you're gonna eat these green beans. I can't. Well, yes, you can, Jeffy. You're not allergic to them because if you were allergic, then you wouldn't have to eat them, but you're not allergic. So eat them, Jeffy. Hmm, allergic. I got an idea. <laughs> Jeffy, did you eat your green beans? Jeffy, where'd you go, Jeffy? Maybe he went to his room, Marvin. Jeffy, you are so grounded for not eating your green beans. Uh, oh, Jeffy, what happened to you? Yeah, Jeffy, what happened? I was trying to take a bite of green beans and then my face started hurting. <gasps> Marvin, maybe Jeffy is allergic to green beans. Yeah, that. What? No, Jeffy, you're not allergic to green beans. You've never been allergic before. But Marvin, you can develop allergies at any age. Yeah, I read that too. You can't read, Jeffy. Oh, I saw it on TV. What? There's no way he's allergic. Are you sure you didn't fall and hit your face? No, I did not fall. You promise you didn't fall? I promise that was not it. Oh, oh, okay, look, well, I will call a doctor and we're gonna figure out what's going on. You better not be faking it. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. We tried to feed Jeffy green beans and then his face looked like that. What, you beat the shit out of him for not eating his green beans? Yeah, he does it all the time. Not this time. Not this time? Look, I put a plate of green beans in front of Jeffy. I walked away, I came back, and he looked like that. What happened, kid? Did you fall down? No, I promise that was not it. We think it might be an allergic reaction? Well, it doesn't look like an allergic reaction. It looks like somebody hit him in the face with a baseball bat. Well, what does an allergic reaction look like? Well, you know, usually you get a rash, maybe get itchy, have trouble breathing. So what type of weapon causes that? What? Nothing. I'll figure it out. Oh, so, so it's not an allergic reaction? Well, I mean, if you're saying that he looks like this after eating green beans, then I guess we have to assume it's an allergic reaction. Oh, so that means I don't have to eat green beans anymore. Yeah, I'd stay away from the green beans. What about cookies? Cookies should be fine. All right, pee pee. Well, no, you're not eating cookies for lunch, Jeffy. What else should I feed him? I don't know. He's not an iguana. He doesn't eat a special diet. Feed him whatever you want, just not green beans. All right, Jeffy, we're going to find something for you to eat that you're not allergic to. Come on, Jeffy. Like cookies. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Cookie time! Wait, no, no, Jeffy! Hey! No cookies. You're gonna eat Brussels sprouts. But the doctor said cookies! No, the doctor said you have to eat something healthy, so here's Brussels sprouts. Daddy, these look like the Jolly Green Giant's testicles! Jeffy! Jeffy, these are good for you. They're really good. They're a nice vegetable. And they smell like the patch of skin between your ball sack and your butthole! Jeffy, just eat them! But Daddy! She's a 10, but she smells like this! Jeffy, I know they don't smell good, but they taste good. Look, just try it. Please try it. Oh, Daddy, I don't want to try these. I got to make sure you're not allergic. Try it. <laughs> Jeffy, <laughs> put it in your mouth. <laughs> Jeffy, <laughs> Jeffy, put it back in your mouth. I don't like it, Daddy. Try it, Jeffy, try it. I think I'm allergic. My throat's closing up. Put it back in your mouth. <laughs> Is it good? Uh -uh. Okay, well, swallow it. Come on, baby, let's go. So, Jeffy, how was the Brussels sprouts? Jeffy! What is up in your face? I definitely think I'm allergic to the Brussels sprouts, Daddy. It's so messed up. What is going on? I can't breathe, Daddy. Marvin, we need to call the doctor. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to call a doctor. Daddy, I need... What, what do you need? I need... What do you need, Jeffy? Cookies! You're not eating cookies, Jeffy. We have to call a doctor. Come on. Oh. Hey there. You call me again? Yes, doctor. I gave my son Brussels sprouts, and now his face looks like this. Oh, my God. I know. It's so bad. Oh, my God. I'm going bald. Oh, God. The bald spot on the back of my head is getting so big. Well, I'm going bald in the front, too? I'm getting bukkake by my hairline. Oh, man, I used to have a full head of hair. Ugh, oh, I hate getting old. Be honest, does it look bad? Um, I would say it's noticeable. Oh, I'm so ugly. Oh, man, we gotta do something about this. We gotta do, like, Brooklyn guy's hair problem fix or, or Brooklyn guy's hair transplant or something. I mean, I guess I could wear a hat. That might cover it up. You think I'd look good as a hat guy? I want you to help me fix Jeffy. Oh, yeah, what about your son? I gave him Brussels sprouts, and now his face looks like this. Okay, you have to be beating him. Facts. No, I'm not beating him. I gave him a plate of Brussels sprouts. I walked away, and now his face is more 
more bruised and his eye is swollen. Well, it doesn't look like an allergic reaction. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if his jaw and cheekbones weren't broken. So what's causing this? I don't know. I mean, I guess it has to be a severe allergic reaction to green beans and Brussels sprouts. So we won't feed him Brussels sprouts and we won't feed him green beans. Would cookies help? I, I don't think cookies would help. I'd suggest you get an EpiPen. No, I don't think I need that. I think I need cookies. You're not eating cookies, Jeffy. We gotta find you a food that you're not allergic to. So come on, we're gonna go find you something to eat. Let's go. What about cookies? Come here, cookie. One bite. Ha! No cookies. Hey! I said no cookies, Jeffy. It's time for you to eat something else. Well, then what am I supposed to eat, Daddy? You're gonna eat a big old plate of spinach. Daddy, you can't just diarrhea on your plate and expect me to eat it. It's not diarrhea, Jeffy. It's spinach. It's good for you. Like, fuck it is. Jeffy, language. Look, just eat it. Daddy, if there's anything I'm allergic to, I'm allergic to this. Where's my bat? Oh, Marvin, what's this bat doing on the ground? Shit. Uh, I, I don't know. Jeffy, were you playing with this bat? No. Well, baby, put it away somewhere. Okay. But that was my allergic device. What? Nothing. Jeffy, just eat the spinach. Just try it. I promise you'll love it. Daddy, I highly doubt I'll love this. Try it, Jeffy. Oh, I don't want to, Daddy. Put it in your mouth. Go. Uh, ah, Jeffy, stop it. Try it. Ow, hey. Try it. Try it. Try it. <laughs> See, it's really good. Dinosaurs eat stuff like that. Aren't you a dinosaur? <laughs> okay, Jeffy. Look, it's good. Just eat it. We'll be right back. <laughs> Marvin, did Jeffy like his spinach? I don't know. Let's see. Jeffy, did you like your spinach? Ooga booga booga booga! Ah! Stupid dog, you make me look bad. Jeffy, you look even worse. Your eyes get me out of your head. What is going on? Wait, what's this mallet doing here? Oh, my bad. Marvin, we need to call a doctor right now. Oh, okay. Well, we have to call a doctor. Jeffy, do you think you're allergic to the spinach? Yeah, I told you if there was anything I was going to be allergic to, it'd be this. Oh, look, I'm so sorry, Jeffy. I'm sorry for trying to make you eat this. Let's go call a doctor. Come on. Cookies. Hey there, you are calling me a lot today. Look, I gave my son Jeffy a can of spinach and his face got even worse. <laughs> you sure you didn't give him cream spinach? Because he looked like he got creamed. You know, like when somebody says, I'm going to cream you. Wait, that's from the hub. Never mind. Well, what's going on? Look, look, Jeffy's face is getting worse and worse. Can you do something about it? Well, he's obviously allergic to all the stuff you've given him. And you can't help him? I'm not really good with allergies. The only thing I'm allergic to is fresh cut grass. Fresh cut grass? Yeah, I know. It's kind of a stupid thing to be allergic to. But let me tell you how I found out about it. So, a few years ago, I go outside to check my mail. And I see my neighbor Chuck cutting his grass. And I'm like, Chuck, what the hell are you doing? It's like 95 degrees out here. You're going to get heat stroke. But I guess he just likes cutting his grass. So, I go to check my mail. And I smell all that fresh cut grass grass, and I fall on the ground, and I start choking, and I start seizing up, and when the ambulance gets there, they tell me it's because I'm allergic to fresh-cut grass. So then, a few years after that, I joined the military, and I'm at war in a place that's really grassy, and I'm behind enemy lines, getting shot at, and all that, and then all of a sudden, the enemy starts charging us with lawnmowers, cutting all the grass in sight. So I smell that grass again, and I start seizing up, and I can't breathe, and I almost died. But then I got to meet the president, and he gave me a purple heart, because I'm a hero. So yeah, that's what I'm allergic to. Okay, well, how's that gonna help with Jeffy? You gotta help us figure out what's going on because it looks like he's about to die. Well, look, every time you give him vegetables, he just keeps getting worse and worse. So I shouldn't give him any more vegetables. Ding, 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 cookies! Jeffy, you can't just eat cookies. Doctor, what is healthier than vegetables? I don't know, what are you, like, five? Give him fruit or something. No, fruits are too yummy. I, I don't want Wow, to... Daddy, screw you! No, no, fruits are just, like, really bright and colorful. I want him to eat something healthy, like fish or... Look, Jeffy, we will find something for you to eat. Come on, let's find... What it. about cookies? Daddy, just let me eat cookies! No, Jeffy, you're not gonna eat cookies! A cookie a day keeps the doctor away. Look, Jeffy, you're gonna eat macaroni and cheese! But Daddy, you ruined it by putting boogers in it! Those aren't boogers! Marvin, the doctor said that Jeffy can't eat any more vegetables. Baby, I'm just trying to make sure he's not faking it. Faking it? Look at his face! Yeah, Daddy, I'm not faking it! It's not like I'm hitting myself in the face with a baseball bat or a mallet! I have to be clinically insane to do something like that! Sometimes I wonder if you're insane, Jeffy. Marvin! Uh, listen, Jeffy, just eat it. Look, it's macaroni and cheese. It's yummy. You're gonna love it! But Daddy, you keep insisting that I eat vegetables, and now I'm gonna have the worst allergic reaction yet, and my ear's gonna fall off! Your ear's not gonna fall off, Jeffy. Don't be ridiculous. All right, we'll see! Come on, baby. Let's let him eat. Okay. Okay, Jeffy, did you enjoy your mac and cheese? I can't hear you, Daddy. What'd you say? Marvin, his ear fell off! 
Look what you did, Daddy! This is all your fault! But tell me you did not lose your ear by eating vegetables. Yes, I did, because I'm allergic! Wait a second, Marvin. What are those scissors doing here? Shit. What, scissors? Wait a minute. Scissors, the mallet, and the bat. The scissors, the mallet, and the bat in the dining room where Jeffy was eating his vegetables and now he looks like that! You just figured out Blue's Clues. You just figured out Blue's Clues. You just figured out Blue's Clues because I did it to myself. Well, what? You did this to yourself, Debbie? Yes, because all I wanted was cookies. Debbie, cookies is not worth all this. Yes, it is. I hate green beans. Debbie, you are insane. And don't you forget it. Well, you Marvin, just let him eat the damn cookies before he dies. Fine, Debbie. You want cookies that bad? Eat all the damn cookies you want. But when you get fat, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Can we at least put your ear back on, Jimmy? <sighs> He's insane. Yes. Doing, Jeffy. I'm Captain Bubble Wrap. I feel no pain. Ow, Jeffy, don't hit me with that sword. Fight back, Daddy. Stop poking me. No, fight back. I don't have a sword. Here, Marvin, use this. Oh, okay. See, I don't feel that, Daddy. DreamWorks is coming out with Shrek 5 on July 1st, 2026. Shrek's making another movie? But it doesn't come out for another two years. Huh. There's someone at the door. I'll get it. I'm gonna go jump off the balcony. No, Jeffy, don't do that. Well, don't worry, Mommy. The bubble wrap will protect me. Hopefully we don't end up on Good Morning America again. Hello? Hey there, somebody call a doctor? No. Oh, yeah, that's right. I came over here on my own. That's weird. Well, anyway, I have a favor to ask you. What is it? Well, you know Shrek, right? The ogre? Yeah, I know Shrek. Okay, great, because I work at the kids' cancer unit at the hospital, and there's this one kid there who only has about a day left to live, and he's a really big Shrek fan, and he's really excited for Shrek 5, but he's not going to live long enough to see it because it comes out in two fucking years. So I was wondering if maybe you could ask Shrek for an early copy of the movie so I could show the kid before he dies. Well, I'm sure the movie isn't done yet. It comes out in two years. Oh, come on. We all know the movie's done. They're just making us wait for it. It's just like GTA 6. They can put it out now. They're just trying to build hype. I mean, I could go ask Shrek. Oh, okay. Um, could you do it now, though? Because, like, I really gotta know. Because I told the kid I'd be back and I had something for him, and if I don't come back with something, I'm gonna look like a liar. And I've already done favors for you with my famous actor friends. Like, remember that one time you wanted me to replace Alec Baldwin's prop gun with a real one because you thought it would be funny? Yeah. And it wasn't funny, was it? No. Oh. So, um, can you ask him? Yeah, I'll, I'll go ask him. Okay, um, can I come inside and wait on your couch? Yeah, you can wait on my couch. And is your fridge for guests, or is that all you? Yeah, you can grab a drink out of the fridge. Just a drink, or like anything? If you find something that you want, you can have it. Okay, but remember you said that. So what kind of sodas you got? <laughs> what, Jeffy, are you okay? He's wearing bubble wrap, he's fine. Now go ask Shrek, I'm gonna rummage through your fridge. <laughs> Help me! Release this shit from my butthole! Hey, Shrek. Oh, Donkey, I'm glad you're here. I need your help. I need you to take this rake and scrape the shit from the plunks of my ass cheeks. It's like cement. I'm not doing that again, Shrek. All right, fine, Donkey. I'll have to do it myself. Ugh, it's like a claw machine game, and the shit's the prize. Oh, uh oh, Donkey, I think I got a two for one. I need your help, Shrek. What is it, Donkey? <laughs> Get out of my face! Do you want to start a shit OnlyFans where we take pictures of my crap and then post it online? No. What, what is it, Donkey? Okay. I heard you're in Shrek 5. Oh, of course I am, Donkey, because I needed more money for cheesecake because somebody wouldn't buy it for me! Well, I know the movie's probably not done yet, but if you have a copy of it, can I borrow it? Oh, of course, Donkey! Okay. Right here. <gasps> Wait, really? Yeah, go ahead, take it. Oh, okay. All right, but only under one condition, Donkey. I will call upon you to do me a favor in the future. And when I do, you have to do the favor no matter what it is, okay? Okay. All right, deal? Deal. All right, see you later, Donkey. <laughs> Help me, Donkey! Yeah. Hey, that's my leftover Olive Garden. Hey, that's a bitch that should mind her own business. What? Okay, I got Shrek 5. Marvin, he's eating my chicken Alfredo. Marvin, you said I could have anything I wanted from the fridge. What, you did? I, I did say it, but I, I didn't want to say it. You kind of made me say it. I didn't know your leftovers were in the fridge. I was saving them for later. Get it back. No, Marvin's not going to go back on his word with a bro, right, Marvin? Not uh, with your boy B-Guy. But I'm his wife. And if you had a dick, where would you be? I bet you didn't think about that, did you? Marvin doesn't care what's between my legs. It's not a lot. 
Oh, listen, can you please just not eat this and give it back to her? Sure, anything for you, buddy. Thank you! Uh, shoo- Ew! Oh, sorry, I sneeze spit all over it, so now it has my germs on it. I don't want it anymore! Yes, I win. In case you didn't notice, that wasn't a real sneeze, I just spit all over it. No, I noticed. Look, here's your Shrek 5. Okay, thanks. It's like, kid, he's dying in the hospital, don't you have to hurry? Yeah, he's dying, but I'm dying of hunger, so I'm gonna eat first. Okay, but like, I feel like you should be in a rush, because- How about you put on Shrek 5 while I eat? I mean, I guess I could put it in. Yeah, I gotta make sure it's good. Yeah, I gotta make sure the movie's good for the kid. No, I meant the chicken Alfredo, I gotta make sure it's good, it looks delicious. Okay, I'm gonna put this in. Yeah, do that. Oh, I love that sound, it means I'm about to drink something yummy. Okay, I put Shrek 5 in. The chicken Alfredo was delicious, by the way. Marvin! It really hits the spot, phenomenal, just unbelievable. Oh, donkey, get out of my swamp! But Shrek, I'm making waffles! I don't want your waffles, donkey, I want cheesecake! I don't know how to make cheesecake, Shrek, I like making parfaits! Parfaits delicious! You ever meet someone, you say, let's go get some parfaits, they're like, hell nah, I ain't like no parfaits! Parfaits the most delicious thing on the whole damn planet! Why don't you go bang your dragon wife, donkey? Donkey, can you please just leave? Me and Shrek want to be onions and take off our layers. I don't know why y'all need to bang some more, y'all already got three ugly ogres! Come on! On Shrek, let's go to the bedroom. Uh. What do you want me to do to you? Eat me! What? You freak! I'm not a freak here, you are. Felonius, give me the whip. Pick this one, my lord. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Is this not the most sexiest cookie of them all? Well, it's not a cookie yet, my lord, but it can become one. All you have to do is cover him in your icing. I could do that. Some of you may get creamed on, but that is a risk I'm willing to take. Never mind, Shrek. There's somebody already in there. It's okay, Fiona. Let's go do it in the outhouse and I can get a blumpkin while I shit. Oh, Fiona, get ready to smell my shit. The uh, uh, Puss, what are you doing in my outhouse? The name is Puss uh, in Boots, not Piss in Boots. I still have to use the toilet. Oh, I like this movie, Marvin. It's cute. I like how they got all the original voice actors to come back. That's hard to do. Yeah, how did they get Daniel Radcliffe to do eight Harry Potter movies? What? Yeah, he did eight of those movies. How did they get him to commit? I, I mean, I would have just done seven and then been a real bitch about the eighth one. I would have told him, I'm not coming back unless you give me $200 million. And they have to do it, because what else are they going to do? He's Harry Potter. I mean, they probably had a contract, so he wouldn't do that. Well, even if they had a contract, I don't care. What are they going to do, make me act? I want to just stand there with my arms folded and pout until they give me money. J.K. Rowling, more like J.K. Rowling in the dough. <laughs> Transphobic bitch. Well, um, I think it's time for you to take this to the kid. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm full, and hospital food sucks, so I'm sure he'll appreciate this. Although he's NPO, so he's not even really going to be able to eat it. But at least he can smell it until I get hungry again. Then I'm going to say, stop sniffing, I'm hungry, give me that food. Well, I meant take him Shrek 5. Oh yeah, I should probably do that too. Okay, I'll grab both of those and then take another Coke for the road. <sighs> Marvin, I don't like your friend. Yeah, I really got to get to that hospital. Now, where's my car? Oh, oh shit! Uh, 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 uh. Oh, thank God, I saved the chicken Alfredo. Wouldn't want anything to happen to this. Oh no, but trick five! Oh, please don't be broken, please don't be broken! Oh, thank God, it's safe. Oh no, the car's coming back! Yeah. Oh no, I did it again! I chose the chicken Alfredo! Oh, please don't be broken! Oh, it's so broken! Oh, I'm screwed! That kid with cancer is gonna be sad! I gotta go tell him. Uh, hey there, buddy! How are those Swiss rolls smelling? I can't smell anything because my olfactory nerve was damaged from the chemo. Oh, right, 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 right. Well, guess what you were about to get? What? This copy of Shrek 5. Well, why can't I watch it? Well, because some asshole decided to save chicken Alfredo instead of Shrek 5 from being run over by a car. It's me. I am the asshole. But this chicken Alfredo is the shit. You would have picked it too. Are you fucking kidding me? No, that's what happened. And I would remind you not to raise your voice in the cancer unit. You know, this is the loudest I've ever heard you be. I don't even have cancer. I faked the whole thing. So you would give me a copy of Shrek 5 for my Make-A-Wish. And I was going to steal the idea and take it to Pixar. Wait a minute. How would Pixar even steal Shrek 5? Well, we wouldn't steal Shrek 5. We would just steal the plot and then make it some green goblin or shit. What? Okay, but you went through extensive chemotherapy treatment. How how much is Pixar paying you? A lot. Oh, wow. Well, damn, this is crazy. I should tell Marvin about this. <coughs> Marvin, just get a fork. Marvin, you're never gonna believe this. It turns out that kid I told you had cancer didn't actually have cancer. He was just a Pixar employee trying to steal Shrek 5. Is that spaghetti? Eyes off my spaghetti, mister. Hmm. 
wrong. Is it good? Maybe. Wait a minute. That wasn't in the refrigerator earlier. You must have just ordered that. I door dashed it. Well, if you don't finish it, put it in the fridge. No. So that kid didn't actually have cancer? No, so you can have this back now. Um, okay. Wait, what, what happened to it? Oh, it got run over by a car. Unlike my grandma, who got run over by a reindeer. Serves you right for eating my chicken alfredo. Yeah, well, I'm still gonna eat it, unlike you who just left it in the fridge for me. Okay, so I don't think, is, it, is there anything wrong with it? Oh, yeah, it's busted all the hell. Look at Oh, this. my God. Well, I don't think Shrek needs it back. I think it was just a copy. Okay, good. Oh, you guys should answer the door, both of you, because it's both of your houses. You want to answer the door with me? Sure. <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> Hello? Hey there, it's me, DreamWorks executive Steve Stalberger. DreamWorks? You must be here for Shrek. No, not really. We're just here for that copy of Shrek 5 we gave him. Uh, why would you need that? Well, you see, we told everybody that movie was coming out in two years, but that was a lie. It's actually coming out in August, and we thought it would be a good idea to put the only copy of that movie on that CD and give it to Shrek, since it is his movie after all, and then we deleted all the files off of all of the computers, so that CD is the only way anyone could ever watch it. So that's the only copy of Shrek 5? Uh, yep. Yeah. There's no backups? Nope. There's no files of it? Nope. The only existence of that movie is on that one CD? Uh, yep. Yeah. If that CD got destroyed, it would be gone forever. Uh, yep. Uh. I don't like the way you said all oh, there, boy. Um, well, let, let, let me go get the CD from Shrek. Okay, I will be waiting anxiously right here. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh my god, we're in so much trouble. <gasps> Did you eat my spaghetti? <laughs> Does that answer your question? Oh my god, why'd you have to eat her spaghetti? I ate it so she couldn't have it. I wanted her not to have any. I have eaten so much goddamn pasta today, and I am a messy baby. Oh my god, well look, we have a bigger problem. The executive of DreamWorks is downstairs, and he wants the copy of Shrek 5 because it's the only copy of the movie. If I could move, I'd give a shit. Oh my god, what are we going to do? It's broken. Well, he's he's going to kill us. Listen, I say you just close up that case, and you hand it to him, and maybe he'll think it broke in the car on the way home. <sighs> okay, I, I don't have another choice. <sighs> All right, here's Shrek 5. Oh, thank goodness. You know, the way you're acting, I thought something bad happened to it. Oh, no, nothing bad happened to this. We took really good care of... Uh, okay. You know that favor I asked you about earlier? It's a break of my asshole time. Uh, I can't believe summer break's over already. I know, dude. I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, come on, guys. Don't get your panties in a bunch. It's school, and you can't spell school without cool and taking out the H, because otherwise it would just be cahool. Oh, yeah, and I guess you have to take out the S, too. But you can't spell school without the letters in cool. You can't spell your mom without fat. Ha <laughs> You can't! What? No, 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 because the letters F, A, and T don't even show up in your mom, so that shows how much you guys know. This is why you have to go to school. Welcome back, class! Today is the first day of school, and to celebrate, you have a bunch of homework. We have to make up for all that time you had off during summer break. A bunch of homework? Come on! It's the first day of school! Teach, give us a break! Oh, come on, guys. We were just complaining we didn't do anything all summer, but now we have homework. Isn't that exciting? Yippee! Well, I don't want to hear any complaints, class. Two months of no school, you could have forgotten everything you learned last year. So this is going to help you remember. Come on, guys. He's right. Knowledge is power. Dude, flip this desk one more time, please. Hold on, guys. Look at the drawing I just did of the teacher. <laughs> no way, dude. Tiny wee wee. <laughs> That's messed up, Junior! Ooh, let me see, let me see. Pass it to Cody, pass it to Cody. Here, dude. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Hey, Cody! What do you have on your desk? Show me! Uh, Junior, take your picture back. It's not my picture. Yeah, that's all you, bro. No, guys! Cody, show me that right now! Uh, no, 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 nothing. It, 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 it's, it's a picture of Sonic the Hedgehog naked. I'm one of those weird kids. Cody, show me what you have on your desk right now! No, he has a really big dong. I don't think you really want to see Show me, Cody! <laughs> You have bunch of homework. I have tiny wee wee. I didn't do it. Junior drew it. Uh, I did not draw that. It was Cody. Yeah, Cody did it. Oh no, dude. I am going to tell the principal right now. Well, no, guys, tell the truth. What's wrong, Cody? Stop being a wimp. <laughs> it's the first day of school. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> All right, Cody. The principal is on his way, and I'm gonna show him this. <laughs> Principal's ears! 
Is Joseph okay? Mr. Chu, why did you summon me here from my comfortable office? Cause the student over there in the glasses, his name is Cody, and he drew this. <laughs> Let me get a peek. He drew this? He did. Cody, come here! <laughs> you drew this? No. Don't lie to me, boy! Don't lie to the principal. If you do, you're gonna be expelled. <laughs> okay, fine, I drew it. Do you know what I'm gonna do to you for drawing this? <laughs> I'm gonna enter you to the International Drawing Competition! Wait, what? Yeah, this drawing is magnificent! It's the best we've ever seen! Mm hmm and we enter one student every year in the International Drawing Competition, but we lose. But you? You have a gift, boy! Wait a minute, wait a minute! I drew that drawing! Stop taking credit for other people's work! You didn't do this! Huh? You're suspended for lying! But you, you're a genius! Huh? I need you to bring that A-game tomorrow! Cause the competition's tomorrow, okay? But, but I didn't draw this! Stop being modest! Huh? I need you to bring that A-game! Chu, I think you found us a winner. I know, my eyes may be slant, but I know good talent when I see it. Mm -hmm. I'm out! Oh great, Junior. Now I'm entered into some stupid drawing competition and I don't even know how to draw. I know how to draw. I should be me in that competition. Well, that's what you get for lying, Junior. You should have fessed up in the beginning. Well, I thought I was going to get in trouble. I didn't know I was going to be entered into a competition. Well, seriously, Junior, what are we going to do? Because if I don't win this competition, I'm pretty sure Steinbeck will literally kill me. I mean, just look what he did to Joseph. Yeah, I think Joseph's going to be out for the whole video. Uh, Penelope, can you come back to my house and help me and Cody think of a plan? Oh, uh, okay. Ugh. All right, Cody, what's the plan? Well, I suck at drawing, so I guess I'm going to have to learn how to draw. Aw, don't say that, Cody. I'm sure you're decent at drawing. <laughs> no, no, I'm terrible. Come on, Cody, show us how you can draw. Show us something. Okay, um... Draw a cat. But a cat, that's that's the one that meows, right? Yeah, draw it. Um, okay, so it's that. What the, the hell? This, this, that's the tail there. What? I got four legs, so that's what those are. And then, uh, it's got two ears, right? Two... And then some whiskers, and then there's a little eye. There you go, that's a cat. You suck at drawing, Cody! Yeah, what? that's horrible, Cody! Oh, yeah, it's not like I just told you that. Okay, no, no, there's no way you can draw in this competition. You're gonna lose! I know. Well, so, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Wait, Junior, you're really good at drawing, right? Uh, it's not like they were just Googling over my drawing saying it was amazing and entered him in a competition. Yeah, I'm good at drawing. Okay, so what if you were to draw for Cody in the competition? How is that even going to work, Penelope? They're going to see him drawing. Yeah, like that doesn't make it... Oh, I got an idea! Cody, how many of those ugly blue shirts do you have? I have a whole closet full. Okay, grab me one. Okay. Okay, Junior, I brought you two shirts. And I don't think they look ugly. In fact, I think I look pretty spiffy. What was your idea with the shirts? Me, 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 me. Why did you invite me? Just wait and see what my idea is. Ugh! All right, Cody, what do you think? Junior, this is not gonna work. How is it not gonna work? I'm inside your shirt, my hand's sticking out, I can draw for you, it's gonna work. They're definitely gonna see you sticking out of my back, and your legs are very obvious. Look, they're just gonna think you have back problems, or like you have a boil on your back. Ugh, Junior, I feel so constricted. I can't even reach my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. Junior, this is the dumbest idea you've ever had. You look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. Ah, uh, get wrecked, Cody. Junior, she was insulting you. Junior, why don't you just teach Cody how to draw? Yeah, that makes a lot more sense, Junior. Oh, yeah, I guess I could just teach you. I can't even breathe. Yeah, let me get out of here. I'll teach you how to draw. <sighs> All right, Cody. Are you ready to learn how to draw like a pro? Please, because I, I need help. Because you're going to learn how to draw a cat for real, not whatever the hell this thing is. Yeah, I hope not. Okay, so start off with a medium circle. Um. Man, that's that's pretty big. Uh, draw another medium circle right next to it. Uh, over here? Okay. Uh. Okay, now put dots in between each one. Wait, are you making me draw boobies? What? No, no, these are not boobies. Okay, so now I want you to draw the nose. So you draw like an upside down three leaf clover. What? An upside down three leaf clover, like between the, 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 the booby things. What, like, like? Yes, like, yeah, like that? just like that. Now, now draw a round W connecting to the nose. A round, like, like that? Yeah, like that, like that, okay. Now put dots in between the W. Um, like. Just yeah, dots all over it. Oh, okay. Just a lot of dots. Mm -hmm. Get a lot of dots. Okay. Now put whiskers. I'll do lines coming out each side. What, um, like, uh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now do like a little, like, scribbly, like, like, round, like, like scribbly under circle, like half circle underneath that for the mouth. Wait, so like... It, kinda. Now, now, now scribble all the way around it. Uh, scribble all the way around. Doing that. Um... Yeah, yeah, like that. Okay. Now, now give it two triangle ears. Um, 
How's that? Yeah, yeah, there it is, there it is. Boom, isn't that a cat? I mean, it's better than what I did. See, look, you're getting better. So if we just do this all night, you'll eventually draw a professional looking cat. I don't think this is gonna work, Junior. I don't think I'm gonna get any better. Oh no, okay, how about this? During the drawing competition, you have a walkie-talkie earpiece in your ear, and I'll have a walkie-talkie, and I'll tell you exactly how to draw it. What, you telling me what to draw isn't gonna help. It's still gonna suck. Well, I just told you how to draw this, and look, that cat looks a lot better than whatever that thing is. I, I mean- I'm not gonna win a competition with this. Okay, you know what, Cody? You suck at drawing. How about that? You what? just suck, and then we're, we're gonna lose. Well, I know! That's what I've been saying this whole time! Wait, I got an idea! What if you call the principal and say that you broke both your hands and you can't draw tomorrow? Wait, yeah, th th that actually could work, because if my hands are broken, I can't draw. Yeah, so call the principal and say you fell off your bike and you broke both your hands and you just can't draw tomorrow! But, uh, okay, yeah! Okay, I'm calling the principal. It's ringing. Ooh, hot enough in my area, you say? <laughs> Bring it to me. <laughs> Who is this? Uh, hello? Principal Steinbeck speaking. Uh, uh, it, it, hello, it's me, Cody. Ooh, the young Picasso. How are you, boy? Uh, oh, I was riding my bike home today and I crashed. Do you need another bike? Uh, no, I, I, I crashed and I broke both my hands so I can't draw. Well, well, draw with your toes! I broke all of those too. Listen, boy, we need you for this drawing competition, okay? We have never won and we need to win at least one time. I promised my mom on her deathbed that we would win at least once. And you're gonna win it for us, okay? You ain't, you're gonna win it. Don't screw me over, boy! Oh. Now, where are the hot milfs? So what do you say? We're good? You don't have to draw in the competition? No, I can't back out. He seems pretty committed. But you broke both your hands! Well, yeah, he didn't really seem to care. What, so you stopped the draw? You're gonna lose! I have an idea. Junior, why don't you just dress up like Cody? Like, wear his glasses, his overalls, his bow tie? But yeah, that actually seems like a really good idea. Cody, you really think a girl can come up with a good idea? Well, yeah, I thought it was a good idea. Who invented the airplane? The Wright brothers, not the Wright sisters. Wait, okay, but Amelia Earhart went around the world or whatever. And got lost. If a man would have been flying that plane, she wouldn't have gotten lost. Who invented peanut butter? George Washington Carver. Two George Washingtons did two good things. First president and invented peanut butter. How many female presidents are there, Cody? Well, we have a female vice president. <laughs> If the girls get lucky, then she'll take over if stuff that the other one dies. Whatever. What'd you say? Just dress up like Cody. Dumb. I know. I got an idea. I can just dress up like Cody. And then they'll think I'm Cody. That's literally what Penelope just said. Oh, Are really? you serious right now? I'm leaving. Every woman says that eventually in every relationship. All right, Cody. I'm going to dress up like you. Okay. All right, Cody, what do you think? Wow, Junior, you look pretty good. I think we might actually pull this off. Yeah, so I'm gonna win the drawing competition, and when everyone's screaming, Cody, Cody, I'm gonna take these glasses off and this outfit and let them know who really drew that picture. Well, don't do that. When they know you're not me, you might get disqualified or something. Well, I want people to know that I'm good at drawing. You're so stupid, you get all the credit for that dumb drawing, but it was my drawing. But no, no, Junior, it doesn't matter that you're good at drawing, okay? We just need to win this competition. But I want people to know I'm the one that's good at drawing. It doesn't matter, Junior. The most important thing is that we don't get caught. Okay, fine. I'm a win. I won't say anything. Hello and welcome to the International Drawing Competition, where drawers from around the world compete to see who's the best. Today we have two brilliant contestants. In this corner, Jacques Pierre Francois. No, oh, oh, oh. no stupid American can beat me in drawing. He may be in his 40s, but he never graduated the fifth grade. And in this corner, we have Cody Nutkiss. Oh, okay, boy, you better win this competition. The whole school is counting on you to win, plus my dead mom. So you got this, go. Okay, on the count of three, both of you will draw the the best dog you can. Whoever draws the best dog wins. A dog? Well, good thing Cody's not really drawing. He only learned how to draw a cat. One, two, three, draw! <laughs> Using a Sharpie, what if you mess up? I never mess up. All right, time's up. Stop drawing. It is now time for me to come around and choose a winner. All right, jockstrap. How does your drawing look? It is not my best work, but it is pretty decent. How about yours? My drawing is the best drawing of a dog this world's ever going to see. And I'm going to win this competition. All right, boys. Let's see what you did. 
check out my drawing. Oh, that's not bad. I like the bark bark. Really lets you know what you're looking at. Yeah, I didn't want you to get confused because I'm really good at drawing cats. So I wanted to make it look like a dog. So I said bark bark so you knew it was a dog. Okay, Jacques, let's see what you did. Jesus Christ, that's the best picture of a dog I've ever seen. Well, the winner for the 20th year in a row, to the surprise of absolutely nobody, is Jacques Pierre Francois. <laughs> I can beat these kids any day, like taking candy from a baby. Oh, that frog eating Frenchman, he beats us every year. I'm sorry, Principal, I tried to win. I know, you tried real hard, Cody. You're only suspended for two weeks this time. I mean, that is a really good drawing of a dog. I know, phenomenal. Yeah, we should probably stop letting him compete. This happens every year, it's getting pretty old. You know, people stop competing because they just don't think they can beat him. I'm sorry, Cody, I tried to win. It's okay, Junior, it was impossible to beat him. But hey, I have no school for the next two weeks since I'm suspended. I'm suspended too! Oh, hey, we can hang out for two weeks. <sighs> what? Dude! Oh, hey, Joseph, you're alive! I have a headache, what happened? A door hit you in the head. Oh. Yeah, but something bad happened to me and Cody. Oh, what's wrong, bud? There he goes. So, guys, what do you want to do today? We should stay inside and read a book. <laughs> Anyone else have any bright ideas? Well, we could go in the forest and light this firework. <gasps> that would be such a cool idea! Oh, dude, we have to do that. That's fun! Uh, okay, hold on, guys. It's daytime, so you wouldn't even be able to see it. And also, it's the dry season, so we could cause a forest fire. And the firework is bent, so it won't even fly straight. It might hit somebody. Cody, are you a firework expert? No, but I have eyes and I can see that it's bent. Then I don't want to hear your opinion if you're not a firework expert. I want to see your firework license. <sighs> All right, fine. Well, we're gonna go light this firework, Cody. You coming? No, I'm not going. Wow, stay here and be a loser. Come on, guys. Loser. Okay, Jeffy, light the firework. All right, Junior, this is gonna be sick. Yeah, dude. Oh, stay back, stay back, stay back. Oh, oh. Stay back, stay back. Oh, dude. Oh, it, it hit the tree. Uh, dude, we just started a forest fire. Let's get out of here. Ah! Uh, uh. Jesus Christ, Simmons, there's a forest fire and there are houses around. Should we go in the houses and check for cats? No, I think we should focus on putting out the fire. You go get some bottles of water and start throwing them on there. On it. God, I really wish we had a real fire truck with water. We don't really get any funding these days. Okay, I'm gonna call for backup. Hello, Chief, this is Station 4, thank you, thank you. We need backup, over. Yes, Lieutenant Guy, what do you need backup for? Yeah, Chief, I got a forest fire here and you didn't give me a truck with water, so I don't really know what to do. Also, the Dalmatian you gave me is not a Dalmatian. He's just really cute and all he wants is cuddles. To be fair, I don't know what the Dalmatian was supposed to do anyway. Well, what I would do is ask any nearby houses if you can use their water hose. And if that doesn't work, Spit on it. Oh, yeah, I uh, got it, Chief. Over and out. Thank you. Hey, mate, I found this lighter. A lighter? That means kids might have been playing with fireworks. Simmons, take that back to the police station and look for fingerprints. Screw this fire. We have a suspect to look for. Ah, what are we gonna do? I don't know, dude. So how'd it go? Based on your reaction, I would guess not great. It went great, Cody. Yeah, perfectly fine, dude. Shut up. Yeah, shut your pie hole, Cody. So how'd it go? Why do you keep asking questions? Yeah, just shut your mouth, God! Yeah, you're acting like we started a forest fire or something. We did it. You're totally innocent. You know what? I'm gonna turn on the news just to see. Breaking news, okay? A forest fire is currently burning the forest. The cause is unknown. Please stay away from the area. Wow, looks like somebody started a forest fire. I wonder who did it. Dude, they're totally onto us. What are we gonna do? Ow! Shut up, Joseph. No one knows we caused that forest fire. Oh yeah, we totally did not cause that forest fire. Technically, it was the fireworks fault. <gasps> it was the fireworks fault. It wasn't our fault. So you guys did start the forest fire. No, Cody, tell us whose fault this is. We took a firework into the woods and we lit it and then it blew up randomly and then made the forest catch on fire. Randomly. Well, you guys lit the fireworks, so it's not that random, is it? Well, we didn't want it to go in the forest. We lit it so it'd blow up in the sky. It curved and went into the woods. It was bent. I told you that was going to happen. So everyone who buys a firework is supposed to bring you with them to tell them not to do it? There are warnings on the fireworks. Well, no one's going to read the warning. They're just excited they have a firework. They just want to hurry up and light it. And we're kids. I think they just assume it's common sense. Well, I don't have that. I know. So look, I think we should sue the firework company for making fireworks to begin with. Dude, that's a genius idea. I think you guys should just stay quiet because nobody knows you started the fire. But if you try to sue somebody, they're going to find out. Well, 
don't know if we sue them first before we get arrested, then they're going to get in trouble because we could sue them because why would they even make something that explodes? That's dangerous. And that's stupid. So we should sue them. We'd win. We get more money. Then we buy more fireworks. Then we cause more forest fires. Then we sue them again. Ooh, the infinite money glitch. Oh, we got to do it before they patch it. Yeah, infinite money glitch. Okay, you guys can just do whatever you want. I'm going to stay here. Okay, I'm going to call a lawyer. Hey there, you called a lawyer for some legal advice? Yeah, we did. Well, I want to let you know that I charge $10,000 a minute, so start talking. We don't have that kind of money. Well, then I'm leaving. Well, no, 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 don't leave. We know your son Richard, and he said that you'd be our lawyer for free. He said that? He sure did. I'm gonna beat his ass. Richard, get your privileged ass in here! Yeah, Dad, you told me to wait in the Lamborghini. Do you know these poor people? Hey, Richard. Hi. I've never seen him a day before in my life. Okay, good. You lied to me. Well, no, we didn't lie to you. We, we know him. Look, here's what's going on. They started a forest fire by lighting some fireworks in the woods, and now they want to sue the fireworks company for making fireworks. Uh, ow! We didn't start the fire. Someone else did. It was a friend of ours. A friend of theirs started a forest fire. I see what's going on here. First of all, you can't sue the firework company. And what I would do is, I would hide, and I wouldn't say anything to anybody. There, there's your free legal advice. See, Junior, I told you. Why would you tell him that we started the forest fire? Now he's gonna go tell the cops. It was pretty obvious. No, you should have said our friend caused it. Oh, we're, we're, we're gonna go to jail now. We're so going to jail. Hey, Susan, can you run the fingerprints on this lighter for me? All right, let me see. Trying to figure out who started this forest fire. Oh my God, it was you! Oh no, Mike, get in here! What's up, Simmons? I was putting my cop outfit on. It was me who started the forest fire! His fingerprints were on the lighter! Simmons, how could you? I don't even remember doing it, Mike. All those poor wild animals. Simmons, I'm so sorry, but I hate to do this. I have to arrest you. I understand, Mike. I deserve it. Wait a second, are you wearing gloves? No, no I am not. Hold on, there's a second set of fingerprints on here. Enhancing, enhancing, bingo, Jeffy, age 18. Oh, that makes way more sense, Simmons. I was with you the whole time, it couldn't have been you. You should just wear gloves next time. I'm gonna go arrest Jeffy. Freeze, Jeffy, you're under arrest for starting that forest fire. See, Cody, I told you that lawyer snitched on us. Well, nobody snitched, except for his fingers, because we found his fingerprints on the lighter. Well, if I chew him off, you won't have any proof. Hey, hey, hey you can't do that. Spit your fingers out. Stop eating your fingers. Damn, Pooby, you have a hairy arm. I sure do. And it's right up my ass. Well, Jeffy, have fun in jail. What, Junior, you and Joseph helped? Ooh, you dirty cracker! Yeah, you stupid honky, why would you tell him that? Oh, we gotta stick together, bro. Yeah, brothers gotta protect each other. What, you guys were really just gonna let Jeffy go to jail? When the pinky gets gangrene, you cut it off to save the body, Cody. Wait, hold on, you're saying these two kids also started the fire? Yeah. Well, no, listen, it was my idea to shoot the firework off in the forest, but I didn't light the firework, he lit it. But I, I also provided the firework, and Joseph... I ain't do shit. I'm out! Uh, it's true. He really didn't do much. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess you and Jeffy are under arrest then. Well, I want to sue the firework company for inventing fireworks. W what? Okay, look, let's just go to jail and we'll let the judge sort it out. Yeah, let's, let's let him sort it out. Order, 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 order. I am Judge Poober, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy and Junior. These two boys are being accused of starting a forest fire and killing chipmunks and squirrels and lizards and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. You boys, why did you start this forest fire? Did Smokey the Bear teach you nothing? Well, you see, Your Honor, it wasn't our fault, it was the fireworks' fault. Yep, it was the fireworks' fault. Go on, please continue. See, Your Honor, what happened was we took the firework into the woods and we lit it and then it flew in the woods and caught on fire. So my argument is, is that if fireworks were never invented, then that we could have never gotten one and then it would have never caught the forest on fire. So we want to sue the creator of fireworks. I see. So you boys are going with the insanity defense because, I mean, you must be stupid to think you could sue a firework for blowing up. I mean, that's like me going to a restaurant, ordering food and choking on it and then suing the restaurant because I didn't chew my food. That's that's like me hiring a prostitute and then her giving me herpes and me suing her because she gave me herpes. I mean, I knew the risk and that's just, that's a memory I'm going to have to live with and my burning urethra. So you two boys are going to have to live with the consequences of your actions the way I live with my herpes. Now, you two are obviously guilty, but what punishment do I give you? Hmm. Let me just check the punishment book real quick. Oh, there it is! Screw you, forest haters! I sentence you to plant one tree, and I sentence you to one night of community service with police supervision. 
Uh, officer guy, you accompany them. Uh, can't do that, Judge. The Heat game's tonight, so you're gonna have to find someone else. The Heat? Oh, you're going to supervise these kids, or you will spend the next month in jail. That's an order. No Knicks! Oh, you look like a Knicks fan, you bastard. <sighs> Come on, kids. Ruining my night. Ugh, I hate you kids for ruining my night. Hey look, Cody left us a note! I know you guys are going to jail. Call me when you get out. Love, Cody. That was nice of him. Okay kids, here's the deal. See, you guys are supposed to plant a tree tonight, okay? But fuck that. Mr. Beast already planted like 20 million trees, and I'm pretty sure he's got you guys covered. We're just gonna say one of those trees was yours. Now you guys are also supposed to do community service tonight, and I'm supposed to watch you. But see, here's the thing. <laughs> the only thing I'm watching is the heat! See, because when we win this game, we're gonna go on to the Eastern Conference Finals, and then I get to wear this shirt. See that? Hemi stands for Hemi Butler. See what he does is he whips out his ball sack on the court and he rubs it on people's faces while he's dunking on them. But I thought we were supposed to do community service. You are doing community service. You're helping a police officer watch the Heat game. Thank you for your service. But like, aren't we supposed to like tell the community that we're sorry? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell them they're sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say that by playing the game sorry while I watch the Heat beat this sorry ass team. Like, who even are the Knicks? You really thought you could beat Jimmy in your dreams, New York? But aren't we supposed to pick up trash on the interstate? What, the only trash that would be on the interstate is if the Knicks' bus broke down on the way home. Well, like, we can't go pick up trash outside? What, no, because there's no TV outside and I couldn't watch the Heat game. Aren't we supposed to, like, go clean up the forest? Well, okay, you guys can just do whatever the hell you want. Just don't tell the judge, okay? I'm gonna watch the Heat game. Hey, Junior, you wanna go outside and light more fireworks? Yeah, let's go do it! Oh, thank God they're gone. Ooh, the game is starting. What? what? Breaking news, MK! Okay? A second forest fire has started, and this one is so bad that we will have to interrupt the Miami Heat and New York Knicks game with around-the-clock coverage. Sorry if you're trying to watch the game. You won't be able to. <laughs> uh, we kind of just started another forest fire. Yeah, I know! I just saw it on the news! That means I don't get to watch the Heat game! Bam at a buy! No! For anyone who didn't get that, there's a guy on the Miami Heat whose name is Bam Adebayo. You know, Bam Adebayo, Bam Adebayo, no. it's a pun. All right, Cody, you go first. Okay. <sighs> Oh, this is so lame. Yeah, it is. You guys want to go to a real bowling alley? Yeah, I love bowling! Dude, you know I love bowling! Well, I don't want to go to a bowling alley to bowl, you silly twats. Well, what else do we do at a bowling alley? Eat cheese sticks. They have cheese sticks? Ooh, cheese sticks are good. Do they have cheese sticks? They have the best cheese sticks in the county. And you get a deal. Four cheese sticks for $4.73. That's more than a dollar per cheese stick. I know, that's how good they are. It's like an explosion of mozzarella in your mouth. Sometimes, I like to take four cheese sticks and bite the tips off and let all the cheese drain into my mouth. It's like cheese bukkake. Oh, God, you make me hate cheese sticks. I think we should at least go try them if they're that good. After that description, dude? I mean, I think we should try it. Well, let's make sure everybody has the money. I do. I do. I don't. Well, I have $10, Joseph, so if you drink this entire gallon of hand sanitizer, I'll give you the money for the cheese sticks. Oh, you're on, dude. Joseph, don't drink that hand sanitizer. Dude, it's just like a full-body cleanse. No, it's really not. It's for your hands. Well, I don't have $4.73. Well, I already gave half my money to Joseph. Unless he's not going to drink the hand sanitizer. Oh, I'm gonna drink you, dude. Why don't you just ask your dad? But what if he says no? Um, cry? Good idea. I'm on it. Get to drinking, Joseph. All right. Hey, Daddy. I don't want to eat my green beans, Daddy. Jeffy, what are you talking about? I need to borrow $4.73. Sell your toys. Marvin, you didn't even ask why he needs that money. <sighs> Jeffy, why do you need almost $5? So I can get some cheese sticks. You don't need to be eating cheese sticks. They're so greasy and unhealthy. You need to eat something like green beans. Well, I don't want to eat my green beans, Daddy. The answer's no. <laughs> $5. No, he needs to learn how to make money like an adult. Jeffy, you want to make money? You stop that. You cut that out. You need to sell your toys if you want to make money. All right, fine. But when I get hit by a train, it's all your fault. What does the train have to do with selling toys? Okay, Cody, I'm going to take my turn while we wait for Jeffy. Okay, do it. I don't know why you need my approval. <laughs> Gutter ball. Dude, you suck, man. <laughs> Drink your fucking sanitizer. <laughs> hey, guys. 
What'd your dad say? He said no. Did you cry? Of course I did. And he still didn't give you the money? No, he told me I gotta sell my toys. What, sell your toys? Well, what kind of toys would we sell that we'd even make money from? All these toys are way too valuable. Well, you could sell that old eight ball. Oh yeah, you could sell that eight ball. It doesn't work ever since I dared Joseph to drink the liquid that was inside it. Dude, you dare me to drink something, I'm gonna drink it. No matter what it is, I'm gonna gloat that bitch down. Well, what? Well, before we sell it, I think we should probably fill it up with some kind of liquid so that it actually works. And it has to be a dark liquid so it actually looks like the liquid inside an eight ball. Well, I have this Coca-Cola. He could fill the eight ball up with Coke. Oh, that would work. All right, Jeffy, fill the eight ball up with this so it actually works. Okay. All right, guys, I filled the eight ball full of Coke. Well, shake it to make sure it works. Well, hold on, hold on. I think we should ask the eight ball if it wants to be sold for cheese sticks. Good idea, Junior. Should we sell you for cheese sticks? As I see it, yes. Well, I'll sell that motherfucker, Jeffy. All right, Diddy. I found the toy I wanted to sell, Diddy. Jeffy, you have thousands of toys, and the only toy you want to sell is a stupid eight ball? Yeah, it's my eight ball full of Coke. What? Why are you calling it that? Well, because the eight ball was missing the liquid out of it, so I filled it out with Coca-Cola. Nobody's going to want to buy your stupid toy full of soda. Well, where do I sell it at? You can try to sell it at a pawn shop, I guess. Okay, Diddy. Stop talking like that. Officer Simmons, Officer Gar, get in here. Hey, sir, me and Simmons are arguing again. So when we execute somebody by firing squad, only one of us has a real bullet, right? The rest are blanks? That's right. See, Simmons, I told you we only get one real bullet. Well, can I have the real bullet? No, you're not supposed to know who has the real bullet. That way you don't feel bad for shooting someone. Oh, I won't feel bad. I want to shoot someone. Yeah, see, that's the problem, sir. I also want to shoot someone. So can we both please get real bullets? No, 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 that's not how it works. But, sir, if he's going to die anyway, we might as well shoot him twice. It'd probably be quicker that way. Yeah, I'll shoot his head. And I'll shoot his heart. It's a win-win. In. Look, boys, that's not why I called you in here. Now, there's this pawn shop that we believe has been buying and selling illegal narcotics. So we got a warrant from Judge Pooby for you boys to go in there and put a bug. And whenever you hear them talking about illegal activity, you go into that pawn shop and bust their asses. Well, sir, are you sure we have a warrant from Judge Pooby? Ask him yourself. Yes, I granted the warrant. Okay, good. It's always good to have a warrant, kids. But sir, if we bust this pawn shop, can me and Simmons please get real bullets next time we do a firing squad? I'll think about it. You hear that, Simmons? He's gonna think about letting us shoot somebody. Oh, goody. Come on. Hey, welcome to Gary's Goodies Pawn Shop. If we don't have it, for the right amount of money, I can get it. Wait, doesn't a dolphin usually run this place? Nah, he runs the pawn shop across the street. So what can I get for you? I have Tom Brady's Super Bowl rings. I have a Dragon Ball. I have the Pink Panther Diamond. Oh, I have this lovely Lady of the Night that's only been used twice by me. But for an extra surcharge, I can wash it for you. No, I'm good. Wait a minute. You guys aren't cops, are you? Because your outfits look like cop outfits. No, these are our Halloween costumes. It's February. Oh, darn. I thought it was October. Well, I guess we need a calendar so we know what month it is. All right. Well, let me go check the back to see if we have any calendars. Quick, Simmons. Plant the bug. Man, I'm really glad we have these bug-shaped microphones. Eh, we don't have any calories in the bag. Oh, darn. Well, I guess we'll check Walmart. Thank you. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You left your weird bug-shaped thing on my counter. Oh, you know what? You can keep it. That's fine. Okay, shit. More product for me. All right, Simmons. Now we just have to sit here and listen until we hear some illegal activity going on. Hey, welcome to Gary's Goodies Pod Shop. If we don't have it... For the right amount of money, I can get it. Well, I got something to sell. Okay, what you got to sell? I got an eight ball of Coke. Holy shit, a whole eight ball of Coke? The street value, that's like $350, so I could probably give you like 300 right now for it. Okay. You hear that, Simmons? He's straight up buying an eight ball of cocaine from someone right now. We got him. Now let's see if they admit to anything else. All right, kid, let me see the Coke. All right, it's right here in this eight ball. Holy shit, you're telling me that eight ball is filled to the top with Coke? Yep, all the way to the top. That's way more than three and a half grams. That can't, that's gonna be a whole ass pound. That's like $45,000 worth of Coke. Listen, kid, I'll give you 30 grand for that right now. Okay, I can buy a lot of cheese sticks with that. Yes, you could. Holy shit, he's selling a pound of cocaine. That's distribution. And he said he's gonna buy cheese sticks for $30,000. That must be some kind of new street drug. All right, kid, here's your 30 grand. Pleasure doing business with you. And hey, if you wanna borrow my lady the night, you can free a charge. Okay. I think I will. I'm a short of my daddy. All right. Well, I'm going to go bust this bad boy open and get all the coke out. Come on, Simmons. We got to go bust him. Go, 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 go. Uh, uh, Mike, can you unlock the door? What? It's not locked. It is locked. I can't open it. Well, hold on. Okay, I'll unlock it. I'm trying to open it. It won't open. What? You're, you're trying to open it as I'm pushing the button. No, no. What? Simmons, stop, stop, stop. Just wait. Just wait. I got it. Okay. God damn it. All right. Time to pour my eight ball of coke into my father's coke jar. 
Wait a minute, what is this? This isn't coke! What is that, like, black paw heroin? <gasps> I'm gonna be rich! Freeze, you're under arrest! For what? For buying a whole bunch of coke! We heard the whole thing, we bugged the place! Yeah, well I didn't buy a whole 8 ball of coke because the 8 ball was filled with this weird brown liquid! Let me see that. Oh, that's Coca-Cola. What? <laughs> You're telling me that I just spent 30 grand on an eight ball of Coca-Cola? <laughs> yeah, you did. But Simmons, this means we can't arrest him because he didn't actually buy any drugs. Yeah, you jerkwads. The only way you'd be able to arrest me is if I had an actual eight ball of Coke that looks something like that right there. Get on the ground. All right, sir, we got him. Possession of cocaine. Right here. <laughs> Why is he crying? Because I just spent $30,000 on an eight ball of Coca-Cola! Yeah, some kid came in and scammed him. He gave him $30,000 and the kid said he was going to spend it on cheese sticks. Huh, $30,000 for cheese sticks? That doesn't sound right. It must be some new kind of drug. I need you officers to investigate that. Well, I got paperwork and I got to put this in the evidence drawer. I think I know where the kid lives, sir. I'll take care of it. So what happens to me now? Oh, you got a meeting with Big Bob. He's gonna give you a cock meat sandwich. Again? All right, Danny. I sold my eight ball toy at the pawn shop. Yeah, what'd they give you, like 10 cents? $30,000. Wait, what? How? Jeffy, who's your friend? Big Tidia, because she's got big titties. Wait, no, Jeffy, it doesn't not make any sense. Where'd you get that doll? The guy at the pawn shop gave her to me when I sold her my eight ball. Wait, 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 this is not making any sense. Why would the pawn shop give you $30,000 in cash and a doll for a broken eight ball toy with soda inside it? I don't know. The guy just really wanted the coke that was inside. I guess he was really thirsty. Baby, this is not making sense. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have cheese sticks I have to go buy with my friends. Wait, wait, hold on. Can, can I have some of that money? No, because you didn't believe in me. Come on, baby. Big titty. What? Baby, how did he get all that money? I don't know. All right, guys, I got $30,000 for cheese sticks. That's a little bit more than the $4.73 you needed. Well, come on, guys, let's go to the bowling alley. I'm buying the cheese sticks. Yeah! Wait, dude, who is her? Big titty. Yes, she is. Ah! All right, guys, come on, let's go to the bowling alley. Wait, I don't think she want to go to the bowling alley. <laughs> I'm going to just go and show her the bathroom floor. <laughs> all right, wash her when you're done. Hey there. Wait, you can't just come inside my house without a warrant. Oh man, you're right. And I was just talking about how important that is too. Uh, can we just pretend I have a warrant? This is really important. No, you better leave unless you get a warrant. <sighs> okay. Judge Pooby, can I have a warrant? I'll allow it. Thank you. Okay, I have a warrant. Now, I think your son might be in big trouble. Me too. He's been acting very weird. Yeah, and I was doing a sting operation on a pawn shop earlier, and he came in and sold this guy an eight ball full of Coca-Cola for $30,000. Yeah, I know. I don't. That doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, and then he said he was going to spend that money on cheese sticks, and I'm worried that might be something dangerous. No, it's nothing dangerous. He just wants to buy cheese sticks from a bowling alley. Wait a minute. Who goes to a bowling alley just for cheese sticks? That seems fishy. Huh, if only I knew what cheese sticks really meant. Hold on, let me check the Urban Dictionary. They know everything. Okay, this first thing says cheese sticks are the best effing food in the world. I mean, that's true, but they don't cost $30,000. The second thing says it's a code word used by gangsters that means beer or alcohol. Okay, but still, alcohol doesn't cost $30,000. Now, this third thing says cheese stick. <gasps> It says cheese stick means unwashed penis. Oh God, I'm so sorry to have to inform you of this, but I think your son might be spending $30,000 on unwashed penis. No, I don't think so. I think he's just going to the bowling lanes to buy cheese sticks. Oh God, and he's going to the bowling alley where all the unwashed penis hangs out. No, no, he just wants the food cheese sticks. Oh God, I really hope you're right. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here and when he comes back, I'm gonna smell his breath. Danny, I'm home and I brought leftover cheese sticks. Let me smell your breath. <sighs> Hmm, I guess it kind of smells like cheese stick. But then again, I don't really know what unwashed penis smells like. Here, get a whiff. Let me see. My God, it smells exactly the same. It smells like cheese stick, but how? Because I took one of the cheese sticks and rubbed it all over my unwashed wiener. Oh, well, I don't know. I guess I consider this case closed. I was going to have a cheese stick, but I don't know which one he rubbed on his wiener. Oh, I already ate that one. Oh, great. I guess I'll take this one. I dropped that one on the floor. You know what? I'm not going to have any. Wait, so he gets to keep all the money he took from the drug dealer? Yeah, he didn't do anything wrong, and the drug dealer's just stupid. Unless the drug dealer decides to escape from jail and get his revenge on Jeffy for scamming him. Ooh. No, no, that's probably not going to happen. We don't really do part twos. Unless. No, no, they, they probably don't want that. Unless you do. Hmm? Part two? Maybe? Tell us. I'm going to take one of these. I don't care.
right, Jeffy, here's your security uniform. Time for your next night at Freddy's. I'm not going back there. It's scary. But you don't get paid unless you work all five nights at Freddy's. That's why it's called Five Nights at Freddy's, not One Night at Freddy's. That would be a lame game. I don't care about the money. I'm not going back there. Jeffy, you can't quit a job unless you put a two weeks notice in. Yeah, it would look bad on your resume. I don't care about my resume. It's scary. Jeffy, it can't be that scary. It is that scary, Daddy. The animatronics try to kill you. No, 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 no. You don't have to worry about that. I went over there this morning and put in a whole bunch of new security stuff to protect us. And besides, you already broke all the animatronics. Exactly why I'm not going back there. Jeffy, what if I go work at Five Nights at Freddy's 2? Oh, I get it. Danny, it's not going to matter because you're going to try to kill you too. Jeffy, if I'm working there, nothing bad will happen because I'm going to protect you because I'm your dad, okay? So let's all go work there. Come on. All right, Marvin, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. I already gave Jeffy the tour last time, so I'm not going to do that again. I just wanted to show you the animatronics Jeffy beat up. He kicked all their asses. Sure did, Danny, because they were trying to kill us. <laughs> No, stop spitting on Freddy. You already spit on him too much. Wait, so these are the things that tried to kill y'all? Yeah, but Jeffy beat him up, and I'm pretty sure he broke them, so they shouldn't be moving around anymore. I really hope they don't move around anymore. Although, Freddy looks pretty pissed off. I don't remember his teeth looking like that last time. Anyway, I'm going to show you the upgrades I made to the security room. Okay, so I made some improvements to the security room, and I moved some stuff around. Like you may have noticed, the cameras are set to automatically rotate, so you don't have to keep pressing the button. And I brought my laptop charger so the cameras don't die like last time, because that was a big problem. Oh, and I also brought some flashlights in case the lights go out. Now, you may have noticed the door is missing. I don't know what happened to that. That was just gone when I got here. So, if they try to kill us, I got this Freddy mask, so we can just put this on, and hopefully they think we're one of them, and they don't try to eat us. They're gonna try to eat us? Maybe. What does this thing do? Oh, yeah, that. That's fucked up. That's the music box. See, this three-year-old girl died here, and I guess she's in a puppet now, and she likes music, because if you don't wind that music box every few minutes, she pops out and tries to kill you. Wait, she's gonna try to kill you? Yeah. Well, well, who's that thing? Oh, yeah, that. That's Balloon Boy. He's a total asshole. How is he an asshole? Well, he just likes to turn the lights out like he pays the power bill here. No, don't you do it, you fuck! <laughs> God damn it, Balloon Boy! Turn the lights back on! Wait a minute. We haven't wound the music box in a while. Let me check. Oh, shit. Wind it, wind it, wind it, wind it, wind it! Okay, it's working. Oh, gosh, she's gone. Oh, God, this is so stressful. But this is stressful. I mean, I thought all we had to do was look at the cameras, but you're telling me there's people trying to kill us? Yeah, sometimes, but it's not that hard. You know, you just watch. There was a camera in the bathroom, but I took that out because I might want to rub one out if I get nervous. It That's helps. disgusting! It helps me relax, okay? <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, God, Bonnie's gone. What is there? Oh, God. Oh, oh, no, okay, okay, we, we got to keep an eye on him. Okay, so... He's not in the kitchen. Okay, he, there's no one else. Okay, not in the bathroom. That's good. He, oh, that's he, good. Oh, oh they're all God gone. damn it. Now they're all gone. Look at that. There's oh my God. Freddy. There's Freddy. Okay, not in the hallway. That's good. That's good. Uh, oh, great. Chica's looking at a cupcake, and Bonnie's back in the bathroom. Oh, uh, shit. The cameras are down. Okay, hold on. Let me turn the lights back on. Ugh. Okay, balloon boy. No more turning off the lights. Hi. What is your deal, man? I want the lights on. Hello? <laughs> Listen here, you balloon fuck. I'm gonna turn the lights back on, and I swear to you, if you touch that light switch again, I will choke you out, my guy. Okay. Oh, do it. Please do it. Make my day. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker, I'm gonna kill you. Ugh. Ugh. I just turned balloon boy into balloon bitch. You want me to spit on him? No, unless you can do it from here. <laughs> Huh, impressive. Well, turn the lights back on! I can't! Balloon Boy broke the light switch! Then what are we gonna do? All I have left is this shitty little flashlight. Well, there's nobody there right now. Well, the cameras are still broken! Yeah, hold on. I'll put it on manual so I can check on myself. Give me a second. Let me just see here. Okay, there's the stage. It's still gone. Let me see. Well, there's Freddy. He's just hanging out in the dining room. And there's Chica. She's in the hall. Gotta keep an eye on that. Okay, Bonnie's back in the bathroom. He must have IBS. Poor guy. Well, oh, Chica's getting closer. And, and she's tweaking out. What's that? Oh, God, she took out the camera! Check the hallway! Check the hallway! Oh, oh, she's right there! Uh, somebody throw something! I'm gonna throw this! Yeah. Oh, don't throw the music box! We need that! Oh, great, now the music box is in the hallway! Somebody has to go get it! Not it! Not it! What? Looks like you have to go get the music box, Marvin! I'm not gonna go out in that hallway! Well, just put on the Freddy mask! They'll leave you alone! If I put on this mask, they'll leave you alone? Yeah, probably! Uh, uh. Oh, okay. Uh, so if I go out like this, they won't kill me, right? Yeah, if they see you, they're going to think you're one of them. Well, can I borrow your flashlight? No, I don't want to be in here in the dark. I don't want to go in that hallway in the dark. Well, um, I'm trying to save the battery. What? Oh, wow. So which way did the stupid music box go? I don't know. I think it rolled somewhere down the hall. Rolled down the hall? It's a cube. Well, just go get it. Okay. 
Uh, guys? I, I don't see the music box anywhere. Um, uh, uh, guys, the, the, the chicken man has it. That's a girl chicken. It's a girl chicken? Oh, oh you keep scaring me. Uh, can I have this back? Thank you. Oh, he gave it back. He gave it back. It's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, what happened? Chica knocked you out. Why? Well, you kept calling her a dude, and I guess that pissed her off. But hey, at least she didn't eat you because of the mask, and we got our music box back. Actually, we haven't wound the music box in a while. I should probably check. Oh, shit. Wind it, wind it, wind it. Good, she liked that. Well, turn the cameras back on. I can't, Chica knocked them out. Then how are we gonna see? Well, we're just gonna sit here for the rest of the night and shine this flashlight at the door. What? Who's that? Oh, that's just Foxy, he's cool. Yeah, I give him a ride home after work. Sometimes we smoke a J in my car. He's skateboarding. Yeah, he wants to be like Tony Hawk. He's gonna be in the X Games someday. Go, Foxy, go, follow your dreams. Foxy doesn't play by anybody's rules. Uh, Marvin, I do have a favor to ask you, and you're not gonna like it. What is it? I need you to go to the kitchen and get me a Capri Sun. What, well, Capri Sun? Wild Cherry, please. What, no! Can you get me a Capri Sun, too? Thanks, uh, Marvin. I'm not gonna go get you guys Capri Suns. I don't wanna get eaten. Oh, come on. We already know the mask fits you, and you already got punched in the face. What's the worst that can happen now? Uh, ugh, fine. Get your stupid Capri Sun. <sighs> okay, you both want Wild Cherry? No, I want Pacific Cooler. I want Wild Cherry. Okay. Okay, where is the kitchen? Oh, hey, Freddy! I'm gonna go this way. I'm not bothering you. Oh, I have to go faster. Oh, but I really have to use the bathroom. Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna close this. Okay, where is the kitchen? Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Uh, hey, Chica, sorry for calling you a man. I know you're a woman now. I'm just gonna get something out of the refrigerator. Okay, Pacific Cooler. And Wild Cherry. Okay, they only have Pacific Cooler. Let me get these two. Oh, they dropped one. Oh, hey, Bunny Man. And oh, hey, Chica. I'm just gonna take these Capri Suns and, and get out of here. See you later. <laughs> oh, oh my god, no, 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 no. Here's your stupid Capri Sun. Wait, where's my wild cherry? They only have Pacific Cooler. There was no wild cherry. That's bull crap. I know I saw a wild cherry in there. Go back. I'm not going back out there. The animatronics are in the hallway. Freddy's right there. Well, if that's true, then me and Jeffy need to hide under the table. Why? Well, you're the only one with a mask. They're not going to eat you. They think you're one of them. Me and Jeffy need to hide. So you use the flashlight. We're going to be under the table. Wait, use the flashlight. <sighs> Okay, I'm using the flashlight. Uh, I don't see anyone. Marvin, stop wasting the batteries. That's the only flashlight we have. O okay, I won't use it. I just, it's really scary in the dark. I, I can't see anything. Oh, no. Oh, Freddy's there! I, I see Freddy! Well, don't shine the light at me, asshole. What? It's just losing. Oh, no! The purple bunny's there, too! W what do I do? Turn the flashlight off. You're wasting batteries. Turn it off. I but now I can't see anything. I, I, I don't know where everyone's at. I, Marvin, 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 just calm down. You have the mask on. They think you're one of them. But I, they're moving. Oh, they're right there. They're right there. They're, they're walking towards me. What, what, what do I do? Just be cool, bro. Uh, what, what, what's poppin', slime? What's poppin', slime, Marvin? What the fuck was that? I'm just trying to be hip and cool. And, they're right there, buddy. They're right there, buddy. They're grabbing me. They're grabbing me. They're grabbing me. Help me. Help me. They got me. Well, they got Marvin, but hey, at least it's not us, right? We gotta go save my daddy! I mean, hey, it's almost 6 a.m. Let's just sit here and suck on our Capri Suns. Wait, wait a minute. We haven't been winding the music box. I gotta check. Oh, shit, she's right there! Oh, no! Somebody help us! Somebody help! Oh, Foxy! You saved us! Hey, do you think you can help us save Marvin, too? Okay, go get your skateboard, Foxy! Yeah, that's right. You can be Tony Hawk! This is you winning the X Games! Go get him, Foxy! Help! Help! They're trying to pull my head off! Foxy's got Marvin. Come on, Jeffrey. Let's go out this exit door. <sighs> Someone please take me. Come on, Danny. Thanks for all the help, Foxy. You're a real one. You need a ride home? Fuck, he is so cool. I want to be just like him someday. I wonder where everyone went. <sighs> oh my god, Marvin. What happened to you? I, 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 I went to work with Jeffy. I told you it was going to be scary, Danny. What's going on? 
oh, he just has a little bit of PTSD. He'll be fine. Hey, look, maybe if you come with us for the third night, you can see for yourself. We're not going to go back for a third night. Oh, I think we're going to be going back for a third night. You see that? See those numbers? See how crazy that is? Yeah, you can't beat that. So if you want to see another video of Five Nights at Freddy's, go ahead and hit the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment saying how you want to see another night, maybe even make a new account talking about how you want another Five Nights at Freddy's video. Because we still have plenty of characters we haven't gotten to, you know, like a uh, Spring Roll or Mousetrap or whatever that yellow fucker's name is.
Minecraft? No, Jeffy. Can I get the bees from Minecraft? No, Jeffy. Can I get Steve dressed like a bee from Minecraft? No, Jeffy. We only came to get batteries. Well, what about the sword? No, come on, let's go. Aww. All right, Jeffy, get in the car. All right. Hold on there, loss prevention. What's the problem, officer? Your son stole something from Target. No, I didn't. What'd you steal, Jeffy? Nothing. Okay, then what's under your shirt? Nothing, I'm just fat. Let me see. Are you trying to touch my wiener? Aha, uh -huh, Steve from Minecraft. Jeffy, you stole Steve from Minecraft. Well, you wouldn't buy it for me. I am so sorry, officer. If we go inside, I'll pay for it right now. No, nope, he's going to jail. Going to jail? Yeah, he's an adult. You're under arrest for shoplifting. Fuck, daddy, the streets are hard out here for a pimp. P.O.P., hold it down. Mama, I love you. Order, 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 order. Wait a minute. Who replaced my gavel with a tiny one? Where is my gavel? <laughs> gotcha. Here you go, sir. I thought it was funny. Hmm, yes, I guess. Don't do it again. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Pooh Bear, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy, who is being charged with stealing a 
Steve from Minecraft toy from Target. Uh, Bailiff, may I see this stolen Minecraft toy? Yeah, I'll grab it from the evidence room, sir. Here you go. Ooh, Steve from Minecraft. Oh, this is so cool. Ooh. Uh, I, I'm going to need to open this to see how fun it is to play with, to see how serious the charge should be. So, Jeffy, you can go ahead and explain what happened. I wanted a Steve from Minecraft toy from Target, but my daddy wouldn't buy it for me, so I stole it. I'm sorry, Judge. Please don't send me to jail. Ah, take that, Ender Dragon. <laughs> this toy is very fun and worth every penny. So I'm not going to go easy on you. I think it's time you got a taste of your own medicine. I sentence you- ah, fuck that bitch! Ah, holy shit, Judge! Yeah, Check and get off him! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Screw you! Ah. Order, order, order. I am the very much still in pain, Judge Tuber. And today, we will be hearing the case of the fucking asshole Jeffy who brutally attacked me and gave me a bloody nose and a black eye. Jeffy, fuck you. I was only going to give you six months of probation, but ho ho ho, you ruined that. Sorry for letting him attack you, Judge. I just didn't expect him to do that. But don't worry, he's handcuffed and tied up now, so that shouldn't be happening again. I'm just gonna check my emails. I'm sorry, Judge. I just get angry sometimes. Please don't send me to jail. Oh no, you're not going to jail. You're going to prison. I sentence you to ten- No, fuck that bitch! You're not getting out of us! That's almost a noise. Oh shit, not again! Order, order, order. Jeffy beat the shit out of me again? What the fuck were you guys doing? Why can't you stop him? I am so sorry, Judge. That will never happen again. We have another officer here now, and he's wearing chains and a mask. Yeah, he better have a mask on. He bit my forehead. He gave me a broken arm, a broken neck, and a broken nose. Jeffy, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Judge. You just keep making me really angry. Please don't send me to jail. Oh, you're going to be buried under the jail. You are a menace to society if you do this to people. I sentence you to death. Oh, fuck that! Again. Oh. Oh. Simmons, why did you grab him? Sorry, mate. He was just so quick. Come on, let's get him. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Anthony. Judge Boober has been murdered by Jeffy. So, Jeffy, I'm going to sentence you to the most cruel and unusual punishment. Death by a million fire ant bites. How is that even possible? Get the phone, get the phone. I got the batteries. Oh, Marvin, you didn't have to get those. I found some batteries in the kitchen. <sighs> wow. Where's Jeffy? He got arrested for shoplifting. Shoplifting? Why? He stole a $10 Minecraft toy that I wouldn't buy him. Marvin, why wouldn't you buy it for him? You know he can't help himself. Don't you blame me for this. Jeffy should know not to steal. Well, how long is he going to be in jail for? He's not going to get any jail time. They're probably just going to give him probation. <gasps> Marvin, look the news! Breaking news, McKay. A 19-year-old man named Jeffy has killed two judges in the courtroom. He is to be executed later tonight. Jeffy killed two judges? There's no way. This has to be some kind of prank. Hey there. Hey, officer. We just saw in the news that Jeffy killed two judges. Oh, yeah, he did. He even killed one of them through the phone. It was pretty impressive. What? Are you serious? Oh, yeah, I saw him do it. But don't worry. He's not going to be killing anyone ever again, especially not because he's going to be executed tonight by a million fire ants. A million fire ants? Oh, yeah, they're being flown in specially from Madagascar. You know that place where the lion and the zebra played by Ben Stiller and Chris Rock like to move it, move it with the lemurs? That place. Oh, where is Jeffy at right now? Oh, he's He's locked away in the most ultimate super max, ultra max, Michelob ultra, big mac, knick knack, patty wag, give a dog a maximum security prison jail. Okay, no, seriously, take me to Jeffy right now. I need to talk to him. I don't think you understand. Let me explain in great detail exactly how hard it would be for you to get there and exactly where he is with this pretty little animation. So, 
Jeffy is handcuffed, put in a straight jacket, tied up with ropes and chains with a blindfold on, and his mouth is duct taped. And then he's put in a coffin, which is also chained up, in a biometric heat sensitive chamber where the oxygen levels are dropped so low that it keeps him alive, but his muscles are not oxygenated enough to move. Then that chamber is dropped into a safe with plasma lasers, pressure plates, and landmines, so if he got out, the lasers would cut him into pieces like a lightsaber, and the mines would blow him up. Then, that safe is put on top of a castle in the highest room of the tallest tower like in Shrek, and the castle is guarded by a dragon that f***s donkeys. That castle is then dropped into the bottom of the Marianas Trench, which is the deepest place known to man, and the castle is then surrounded by great white megalodon sharks with laser beams and heat-seeking rocket launchers on their heads. Then above the sharks is a giant squid that's been trained specifically to eat Jeffy. So even if he got past all the rest of that, he'd have to get past the squid. And then above the squid is James Cameron in a submarine with an IMAX camera filming the whole thing, so if Jeffy escapes, James Cameron can let us know and make a sick-ass movie out of it. And then above him is a military submarine with a nuclear torpedo pointed at him, so if Jeffy gets past James Cameron, they'll blow him up. And then above that is three aircraft carriers carrying F-22 Raptors, which are the coolest fucking jets ever, in my opinion. Are you serious? Oh, I am very serious. It can go up to 1,500 miles per hour. That means it could fly from L.A. to New York in just under two hours. I mean, yeah, it would have to refuel somewhere over Colorado, but don't worry because it can refuel in mid-air. And it can pull up to nine G's. That's more G's than lasagna and bologna combined. Both of those words have G's in them. Why? What are we talking about? I'm talking about the F-22 Raptor, the coolest jet ever made. I want to talk about Jeffy. Fine. Yeah, we can talk about Jeffy. Sure. I mean, the F-22 Raptor is way cooler than Jeffy. I mean, it's not like it's the most expensive jet ever made. I mean, it's not like it only costs $150 million per plane with an operating cost of $68,000 per hour. But I'm sure you already knew that. Is Jeffy really in that maximum security prison? Oh yeah, he's never getting out. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not really sure how we're gonna get all those fire ants in there. We might have to funnel them in with a straw or something. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a call. Oh, it's James Cameron. Hey, Cam with the cam, what's up? What? He what? No, come on, what about the sharks with the lasers and the rocket launchers and the giant squid? Really? What about the submarine and the torpedo? Yeah, okay, uh, but what about the donkey fucking dragon? It drowned? Oh, yeah, I guess that does make sense. Yeah, okay. But, but, but what about the F-22 Raptors, though? No, really? Well, tell me at least you got it all on camera. No, James, you didn't. Come on. Ugh. Jeffy escaped. Wait, he escaped? Hey! I don't know. James Cameron said he recorded the whole thing and it was the coolest, most James Bond, Tom Cruise shit he's ever seen. But his memory card got corrupted because he didn't eject it properly and he lost the whole thing. Oh, so where's Jeff yet now? I don't know, but I'm not going to catch him. Not with my no legs. If only I had an F-22 Raptor with all the options in the fishing package. Dang! Help me! You have no idea what I had to do to escape that place! Please tell me. I have to know how you got out of there. Shrek and Donkey saved me! Oh, I didn't think about Shrek and Donkey. Yeah, Shrek said, Yeah, you're coming with me. And Donkey said, I like parfaits. You ever had a parfait before? You ever meet somebody, you say, let's go get some parfaits? They say, hell no, I don't want no parfaits. And then Donkey went and fucked the dragon. And then Shrek grabbed me and then sharded so hard it propelled me through all my entrapments all the way up to the surface and I got back here. Well, you're back under arrest. Fuck. What? Jeffy, did you really kill a judge? You were only gonna get probation. Well, sometimes my brain don't work right. And that's why you're gonna be executed by a million fire ants. Wait, are you sure he really killed the judge? Yeah, I saw it with my own eyes. Well, because I see Judge Pooby right there. No, don't look at me. I'm not here. Wait, Judge Pooby? I thought you died. No, me and Judge Anthony paid Jeffy to beat us up and pretend to kill us so we could go to Disney World. Wait, so Judge Anthony's still alive too? Yes, and I'm right here. Wow, so I guess the only thing you're guilty of is shoplifting. And I'm really sorry. Well, that's good enough for me. You guys want to talk about F-22 Raptors? Did you know that the F-22 Raptor... Oh man, guys, I'm so hungry. Yeah, I can't wait to eat my turkey panini. And I can't wait to eat my ham and bacon sandwich. Damn, chicken! Chicken and mashed potatoes! Oh, there's mashed taters. Oh, you know there's mashed taters. Oh, give me some of them taters. Oh, you take my mashed taters? What's wrong with you trying to my mashed taters? No, oh, I love taters. Give me them taters. Cody, you can't have any of Joseph's taters. Uh, okay. All right, guys, let's eat our food. Chicken! Uh, oh, I'm so full. Uh, uh, Beep! Uh, 
man, that was a good panine. Cody, you didn't even burp. Uh, yes, I did. Didn't you hear it? You just said the word burp. Uh, okay, look, I can't burp, okay? It's a gastrointestinal problem. Oh. Joseph, you like your chicken? Oh, man, I love my chicken. I tore that thing off! Joseph, why are you talking like that? So what do you guys want to do for the rest of the day? Ooh, dude, let's play a game! Oh yeah, let's play pickleball. You suck ass at pickleball, Cody. What? You're such a dick, Junior. You're a dick. Yeah, well, you know what they say, you are what you eat. <laughs> Cody, you're a turkey! Junior, you're a pig! Well, Joseph, you're a chicken! Dude, you're Cody's mom! I guess I am Cody's mom. Oi, 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 oi. Hey, guys, shut up. We don't have time to make fun of my mom. This is a problem. We're animals. Well, what do you think happened? I don't know. Wait, wait a minute. Cody, you said you are what you eat. I was making a wiener joke, Junior. If anything, I should be a wiener. But what if when you said you are what you eat, it turned us into what we ate? Because I ate a ham sandwich. Oh, and I ate turkey. Dude, I ate a chicken. Wait, that wouldn't make any sense because I didn't eat big fat whale, so I'm not Cody's mom. What, Junior, shut up. We have to figure this out. So should we call a doctor? Well, yeah, I'll get my phone. Hold on. Uh, uh, just, uh, damn it. It's really hard to type in the numbers with my beak. Uh, I'll help, I'll help. <laughs> Hey there, somebody call an adorable doctor? You're a cat! Yeah, I know. I don't really know what happened. Well, my friend said, you are what you eat, and then we turn into the things that we ate. Oh, so it's like some kind of curse. Yeah, so why are you a cat? Well, I mean, I am an OBGYN, and I didn't wash my hands before eating, and I licked my fingers. Of course, I was eating Chinese food, so it could be either one. So do you know what we can do about this? This literally just happened, and it seems like some kind of magic, so no. I can actually do less now that I'm a cat. So we're just gonna be animals forever? <laughs> What? So, sorry, I... Look, I've never been able to lick my balls before, so I've just been going to town, and I guess I have a hairball now. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh, that is much better. Sorry about that. You see that? That is cat ball hair. So what are we gonna do now? I have no idea. Wait a minute, Cody. You said you are what you eat. So what if you said we aren't what we eat, and we go back to normal? Um, okay. You know, you know what they always say. You're not what you eat. Yeah, that didn't work. Maybe because that's not like a saying that people actually say. Like, obviously, you're not what you eat, duh. So we're going to be animals for the rest of our lives? Yeah, I guess so. Wait, you have nine lives. Oh, that's right. Hell yeah. Oh, I can lick my own balls and I can die nine times? It's awesome. I'm going to go run in front of a car. I'll see you guys later. Oh, man, I wish I could lick my own balls. So, guys, what are we going to do? The news. Breaking. It's me, Steve Squirrelberger. I got hit by a car on the way over here. Everybody in the world has turned into an animal for some reason. I was eating a squirrel burger, and now I'm a squirrel. Cody, you turned everyone in the world into an animal. Well, how was I supposed to know that was going to happen? I'm not the first person to ever say that. Oh, what are we going to do? What do you think Chef Pee, Pee turned into? Probably a burnt casserole because he burns all his food. Ooh, let's go see, bro. Yeah, let's go see. Mm mm mm! I can't wait to eat my scrambled eggs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, Junior, Chef BB's right there. How is he still a human? I guess he hasn't eaten yet. Dude, he's about to eat scrambled eggs right now. We need to stop him. Okay, <laughs> Chef BB. No. Oh, Chef BB, no! Is that a pig? Well, get out of here, pig! I'm trying to eat my scrambled egg. <laughs> wait, what? what? You turn into what you ate, Chef BB. Junior, is that you? You're a pig? How did you turn into a pig? Because we are what we eat, and you turn into a chick. Wait, wait, I don't have boobs nor a vagina, Junior. No, you didn't turn into like a girl chick. You turned into a baby chicken. Wait, why would I turn into a baby chicken? Because you ate eggs. You are what you eat. Oh, that's so stupid and lame, Junior. Figure this out. What, 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 what happened? I, I don't know. It's like a curse that everyone turned into animals. You better turn us back right now, Junior. Figure this out. Well, it's not my fault. We're, we're going to figure it out. Just hold on, Chef BB. Guys, I wasn't able to stop Chef BB from turning into a chick. Well, maybe if you didn't jump in slow motion, you would have gotten there in time. Yeah, it took you forever, dude. I was just being dramatic. Yeah. So guys, what are we gonna do? We're animals! I don't know, Junior. I don't even have thumbs. This sucks. <gasps> do you think my dad turned into an animal? Oh, Junior, you should check and see if he's still human. You need to stop him. Okay! Dad, dad, dad! Oh my god, I must be tripping balls right now! Cause the woman from Charlotte's Web is talking to me in my room! Man, that's some pig! No, dad, it's me, Junior! Wait, Junior? You're a pig? What happened to you? I don't know, but why are you a frog? I don't know, I was in here watching TV eating frog legs, and then the next thing you know, I'm a frog! Why do you eat frog legs, dad? Uh, don't judge me, look, it tastes like chicken! That's gross! It's good! Look, don't knock it until you try it! What? Ew, dad! Weirdo. Oink. Was that a good oink or a bad oink? A bad oink. So is your dad human? No, he's a frog. Your dad eats frogs? He eats frog legs. Huh, never tried him. 
So what are we gonna do, Cody? We're animals, we can't be animals forever. I don't know, we don't know anyone else that's human. Oh my God, Junior, stop Cookie Monster. Huh? Cookie! No, oh, Cookie Monster, we stole! Oh, oh God, no! I can't even watch. Oh. Jesus! Oh man, he turned into a cookie! Damn it, Cookie Monster! Damn you and your love of cookies! Oh. He was so innocent, dude! He's a cookie now. That's what he would have wanted. Okay, Cody, listen, we gotta think of a way to fix this. You're the one who caused this with your stupid saying. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay, I, I said you are what you eat, right? Okay, so if we eat a human, that means we'll turn back into a human, right? <gasps> yeah, if we eat a human, we'll turn back into humans! Yeah! Well, we don't know anyone that's still human, though. Yeah, we have to find a human that hasn't eaten today. <gasps> a homeless man! <gasps> yeah, homeless people don't eat anything! They never eat, dude! Yeah, so let's go outside and find a homeless man and eat him! Yeah, okay. All right, let's go! <laughs> guys, 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 I found a homeless man over here! Oh, cool, let's eat him! <laughs> Turkey pig chicken. Uh, Cody, you go first. No, Junior, you go first. Okay, where do I even start? Uh... Ow, bad piggy. I tried biting his fingers. Dude, you gotta rip his arms off. Ugh, look, watch this. Ow, bad chicken. Ow, ow. Okay, Dude. you know what? I think we should go inside and do this, because I don't want people seeing us murder this man. Yeah, yeah. this could get messy. All right, all right, let's take him inside. <laughs> all right, so we're in the privacy of our own home, so now we can eat him. Uh, okay, Junior, go. Uh, I'm gonna try his ear this time. Ow, my ear. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. Oh my God, Junior, you ripped his ear off. I don't like that he screamed out. He's gonna scream out, Junior. You just ripped his ear off. All right, Cody, you try to eat him. Okay, I guess I'll try down here. Oh, God, Junior, he smells like shit. Pee pee in my pants. Oh, Junior, he peed his pants. I'm not eating him. This is gross. Dude, I'll eat him. No, I don't like trying to eat him, and who knows what kind of diseases he has. Yeah. All right, you know what? I'm gonna try his fingers one more time. Ow. Okay, you know what? Go. Get out of here. <sighs> That's food, dude. Junior, I guess we're just not capable of eating a person. Yeah, it's just way too sad. Let's try something else. Oh, guys, look how late it is. We have to go to school tomorrow. Uh, let's just figure it out then. All right, I'll see you guys at school tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. Man, it's raining really bad outside. Hey, Penelope, or should I say Baroclope? Shut up, Junior. Yes, I'm a piece of broccoli. I had broccoli for dinner last night, and I woke up this morning, and I was a piece of broccoli. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry? What? Is this your fault? Yeah, I said you are what you eat, and now we are. Oh, so you had some turkey, I'm guessing? Yeah. And before you guess, no, I did not eat Cody's mom. It would have been a good guess, though. Oh, of course you had chicken. What's that supposed to mean, Penelope? All right, Cross. So last night when I was eating dinner, I turned into a dog. I don't know why. But since we're all animals, you can all go home. No class today. Yay! No school today! <laughs> oi, 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 oi! Guys, school's out already! Oh, dude, we gonna go home and have fun! What fun can we have? We're animals. Let's go to my house and see if we can figure out how to be humans again. All right, guys, how are we gonna become humans again? Junior, you keep asking that, but we don't have answers. Cause I don't know what to do. Hey there. Who are you? Oh, uh, I'm Brooklyn guy. I, I I was a cat, but I'm not anymore because I ate Stuart Little. You ate Stuart Little? Yeah, I saw him driving around in his little car, and I thought, if I eat him, I'll become him. So I ate him, and now I am him. I'm him. Himothy. Himmy Johns. Himmy Neutron. Himmy Hoffa. Himmy Kimmel. Himmy Turner. I, I'm, I'm him. I'm him. So what happened when you ate him? Oh, it was pretty graphic. I mean, I snapped his little neck with my teeth. There was blood everywhere. It, it was brutal. But hey, I'm him. Well... Do you think you can help us become humans again? Well, I think so, now that I can walk around and stuff. So what's your solution? Uh, well, have you tried eating a human? We tried eating a homeless man, but it was really sad. He kept screaming, ow, I ripped his ear off. <laughs> you should have let me do it. I'm capable of some pretty terrible things, apparently. <sighs> I don't know what to do. Cody, this is all your fault. You're the one that made all this happen. Well, I'm sorry, Junior. I'm only human. <laughs> Cody, you're human again! Well, I am? Oh my god, I am! Well, how'd that happen? Well, I guess what I said, I'm only human, I actually became human. Wait, so all we have to do is say that saying and we'll all be humans again? Yeah, I think we should try it. All right, let's all say it together. I'm, I'm only, only human. human. <laughs> we're all humans! Dude, we're all humans again! Destroy all humans. That was, that was a cool game. And destroy all humans too. That was awesome. You play as a little alien guy, you know? That was great. Anybody play that? You're still wearing Stuart Little's clothes. Yeah, yeah, and I like this shirt. I think I'm gonna keep this. Screw Stuart Little. I wonder if I'm gonna poop him out later. Oh, hold on. Ugh. Ugh. Man, I can't lick my balls anymore. Oh, wait, hold on. So how are we gonna get the whole world to turn back into humans? They all have to say it. Oh, I'll just hold a press conference on the news and tell everybody to say I'm only human and that'll turn everybody back. That's a good idea. But before you do that, there's something I gotta do. Okay. <laughs> What are you doing? Get off her! I'm eating broccoli! Kill! Kill! Kill me! What?
Wait, that guy's still running around? What the hell is going on? 